My father taught me how to dance, he said it was my only chance to show the people how to be free, an ordinary boy like me. Well, my dad wasn't a very good dancer. Uh, I don't think I've ever saw him dance, actually. That would have been quite a spectacle. Um, nobody taught me how to dance. Um, and that's quite apparent when, if you're ever unfortunate enough <clears throat> to witness me dancing. <laughs> um, there you go. But a great song and a great, well, a great album that's now available as two albums in one, as they sometimes do. But that's that was their only output, the band called Mr. Fox, which I highly recommend if you're into sort of English folk music, which I am. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, there's there's been quite a bit happening just recently uh, here and about. Um, I like the way Dell's taking the um, well, taking his uh, taking a great stance against these arseholes who um, are just there to upset and uh divide and um weaken and um cause trouble really and just think of it you know violent revolution is bullshit you just end up with the same well um won't get fooled again by the who is a great example of what uh, what would happen i think meet the old boss same as the new boss yeah so uh, it's it's empowering the individual. That's where everything has to be focused on. As, as long as you um, realize what's going on and how we are being governed and the lies that we are told, all that nonsense, then you can simply take back the control because you, Who's controlling you? You are. You are controlling yourself. So you just say, um, nobody's going to um, impose their bullshit on me. I am in control of myself. And that's what it's all about. That's the message. Um, some people don't like that message because they want to be lord god almighty or some bullshit um never be afraid of authority don't allow the authority to have um um well don't consent that's what that's another great um thing so dell's very right in in exposing these people for their tactics and their agenda and um um well I don't, I don't want to say i support him but i do support him and um, because i you know we don't want to band together because um although unity is powerful um it's also very easy to destroy the individual that's where the power lies Anyway, so it's it's a little bit dull today, which I'm quite thankful of. I've just done a um, bit of work. I haven't been doing it all morning, I must say, but uh, I think I made myself a bit ill with the sun. So I'm, I'm very fair skinned. I am actually pink, <clears throat> not brown or white, pink. So uh, therefore I don't expose myself very often to the sun, but even my bald, Head, <clears throat> head. When I'm in the sun, um, it, I can really feel it. Uh, you know, the following day, I, I just feel lousy, ill. You know, sick, and uh, and even when I do wear, I wish I have a quite a big straw hat. Um, I don't advise. Uh, well, I don't advise people with my complexion to go out in the sun for very long. So 
So, um, while I was out there uh, a couple of days ago, I'm always kind of irritated by my um, lack of organisation. Um, in other words, I should have my camera on the tripod, ready for anything, ready for action, on standby, or whatever. But I, but I very rarely do. And I saw this uh, first thing I saw was a great. Um, I thought would would made a great shot of a curlew, <clears throat> and it was making that great drumming sound that, that they make. And uh, I thought that would that would be so good to just to capture that. And the next thing I saw, not not probably five minutes later, it was a cuckoo, and you don't often see cuckoos. They are supposedly getting more and more rare, and it would have been good just to get a shot because they're very um, uh, elusive type of uh, creatures um, the, and they can throw their call so you can hear one calling and you think it's coming from over there but it's really coming from somewhere else they, they are a master of that and then uh, and I was kicking myself, oh, bloody hell, I should have had my camera and thinking about going to get it. And I thought, well, it's gone now. So, I mean, it was literally just um, two or three, well, maybe five or six seconds I saw it for flying past. And then right, right at my eye level, going past quite slowly, was the barn owl. Oh, bloody hell. And I missed that as, as well. Sorry. You'll just have to take my word for it, all this. But and then a couple of probably a couple of weeks before that, I saw uh, an old oh, I don't know how old it was, but a, a, a big, obviously mature tawny owl being mobbed by blackbirds in, in um, at sort of just at dusk. Uh, you know, blackbirds make a lot of noise at dusk anyway. They kind of um, have these alarm calls or oh, I don't know maybe they're just saying good night to each other like the Waltons I don't know but it sounds like an alarm call to me and then I uh, I looked up because there was more noise going on than there normally is looked up towards the wood and there was this tawny owl with at least uh, four or five um, blackbirds kind of obviously trying to oust it from where they were going to kip uh, that night so all good stuff but again what's the point in me telling you all this when i haven't got any footage what i do have footage of uh, more chemtrails they seem to be doing it a great deal just recently now, i don't know why that is um maybe when it and it's very bright um the the worried about global warming <laughs> and that's actually the official stance on the chemtrails if you look it up you can actually but don't look up chemtrails you know be more um not subtle but um um more um less colloquial more uh scientific um like okay. I've got now how I came across it now, but I, I did do a search on something like what are the spraying the air with uh, the sky with? Um, maybe I don't, I can't remember. But hey, uh, <clears throat> so I will probably include a little um, clip of that somewhere around here.
Oh, that's better. I just had a, a big slurp of tea. Yeah, um, people are, um, well, you know, this is inevitable, but um, a lot of people are sending very offensive um, <laughs> comments to my channel, and I love that. I revel in it. I laugh. I am never offended. That the, the, the offence is intended, but it's never taken. Um, so carry on. By all means, do your worst, because it doesn't affect me. Um, I usually read them, very rarely respond, because I just don't have the time for idiots. But um, I like to. Th I like to think of these people, um, if they are people, um, trying to make up some nonsense and um, oh, I've got him, I've got him this time, I'm going to call him a cunt. <clears throat> call me anything you like. It doesn't make the world spin or spherical. And I'd I like to thank all the people, all the good people who um, comment um and put nice comments <clears throat> it, it it um it's very very good of you and um i appreciate it i really do but if i didn't have any comments good comments rather um and they're all bad i would still keep doing it because i'm not doing it for um fame fortune or um um to, to make a little gathering a following or, or um I just want the people to know that this thing is not going away. This realisation that we've been lied to for decades, um, it's not going away. I'm not going away. I'm just going to keep banging on. And um, some people might even decide to look into it because of what I've said. Let's hope so. So that's about it, really. Um, and um, I just hope, <clears throat> I hope people will see through the nonsense and uh, realise. Um, oh, one thing, I, I did watch um, um, a very interesting documentary by an investigative journalist on the Joe Cox um, murder. Um, Richard D. Hall is the guy just it's very recent very current on um, youtube richard d hall um just put that in and it will come up it's very interesting it's about an hour long and it shows you that well she probably was murdered i don't know about that but the person who was supposed is in prison now serving life in no way did he do that murder so this is what we're up against people and when you see that, you'll realise the the depth of the um, the lies and the um, well. You'll see what we're up against. Leave it at that. See ya.